Chicken for real people just arrived. Okay, okay. This is all Cam. And this is not a spring chicken. Today we're giving you our daily update on the Cons Film Festival 2012. This is our daily cons actually our daily cons broadcast. For us it's day three. For a lot of you that just arrived, it is the beginning opening day of the Cons Film Festival. Yeah, a lot of them okay, um, what what's happening is a lot of them are you are at parties right now if you're in France. Oh yeah, because the time difference is a little bit. Yeah, but yeah. Um, we have uh, some of the okay. Some of the people that are there at the moment are uh, Alec Baldwin, Jean Becker, Bernice Bojo. Uh, <laughs> fun being being, I love that. Yeah, <laughs> Julia Binochet, Michael Blanc, um, Carmen Chaplin, Dolores Chaplin. Guess who family members those people are? Mm -hmm. Let's see, Jessica Chastain. Um, uh, uh, trying to figure out some of these people, <coughs> might, most of these people you don't know. Uh, uh, Bill Murray, you know, Lee 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 Chris Pine, Frida Pinto, most people know, Edward Norton, Sean Penn, let's um, see, Tilda Swenson, Academy Award winner, of course, uh, let's see, and Bruce Willis. Those are some of the people that are in attendance, and then she's got. Um, some information directly coming to you live, I mean really live at this moment. Well, see, because part of it is not only do we get information from the Cons Film Festival, but we also are paying attention to other news that's out there, including Twitter feeds, Facebook feeds, and all of that. We know that some of the people here from Southern California, going at Real TV Films, <laughs> have just arrived at the Cons Film Festival. Some of them have been there for days, such as director Christian Filipella. An actor, Vincent DePaul, an actor and producer, Vincent DePaul. And um, Winnie? Winnie um, Cassio. Um, we'll, we'll get the name We'll, we'll, we'll get you all of the names. She's directly. got a film in competition, folks. I know, so one need, of the short films. We need Actually, her to get her name down perfect because she is in competition. I, for ju I just got somebody else who's got a film in competition, too. So we've got a couple of people from Southern California that have films who, in competition. Who will, keep us, who will also yes. keep us informed of how things are going. Yeah. So that part's really exciting, as well as a media outlet um, that is going to be over there, Gordon at Real TV Films. Um, the, we know people that are connected with gifting suites, um, people that are buying and selling films, and some people that are just yeah. checking it out. So we've got... Well, and actually, we had a photo <laughs> call for 10 a.m. This, this morning, their time. Mm -hmm. They don't understand that we aren't there. And I got a new, we got a new photo call for tomorrow too. So oh, good. We, we, you know, we're, I've been invited to a really great party tonight for the dictator. Oh man! Actually, it's probably happening right now because yeah, that was is. that was set like about four o'clock in the morning. But I don't think I'm going to be making that party tonight. Mm. So anyway, so that's where we're getting some of our information from. So if you're staying tuned, it's, a, it's as live as you as of this moment right now. It is as live as you're going to get. It's probably the only thing you're going to be getting because you're not going to see it on any of the networks, period. Oh, that's They don't true. do CANS coverage anymore. Oh, they don't? Nope. Oh, okay. So one of the big things is they do have daily press conferences. And they always say the F-bomb. Okay, this is France. This is not the United States. They, well... As exciting as it gets, they did use the F word during the Palm de Or press well, conference. Actually, they, they, it's an Englishman used the F word. Ah. A, a Frenchman would have basically said it in a different manner. I can't understand um. why so many actors have such a crappy time doing accents. I turned in and out of them. So you want to talk about the juries first, the jurors first, or the films? Uh, we'll do the jurors because they're sort of an important part. I mean, here's the trick again: <laughs> is that we have. Two separate lists of jurors. Um, I have a press site. She's got a real site, real time. I have uh, Tim Roth, Lila Bakhti, Tony Marshall, Luciano Matrutego, and uh, Sylvia Frisch. Basically, so that's 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 primary. But then she also has a whole set of people. I have Evan McGregor, that most of you have known from Star Wars, and then also uh, French designer Jean-Paul Gaultier. Oscar-winning director Alexander Payne that most of you have known from, remember Descendants? Descendants. I think he won another Oscar this year, didn't he, for Best Screenplay? Which yeah, means he's, he's, I think he's he, won, I think, a couple of them. I know, I remember Clooney saying he wanted to work with Alexander Payne. Yeah, because Payne yeah. is an Oscar. Okay, Payne is like a writer's version of Clint Eastwood because uh, most of what he does gets Academy Award nominations. There's a simple reason. He tends to work with the, he's, you know, my father was with what they call the Irish Mafia. 
in Hollywood, which is a John Wayne, which was the John Ford people. I worked with them too. He has his own setup, which basically he keeps the same people around him all the time. So mm -hmm. therefore, it's easier to work with the same people all the time, which is I think what we're discussing here too about um, what somebody said about there was a troop or something. The troop? Oh yeah, like there was a, I think it was McGregor who talked about the we got a, just like a troop or something, uh, an acting troop or. I know. I know exactly. But I know there was also actresses Diane Kruger and Emmanuel that, Vaughn, and I think, which were on the I jury. I think Bernadette Bejo was one of the people on a jury too because um, mm. she's the only person who got, she got she, she's the one who got screwed on the artist. Her husband won everything. She got nothing. Um, actually, here was one. Jury President Nani Moretti. Yeah. She actually complained about the constant media attention surrounding the cons jury. Yeah. Um, but that's what that's part of it. If you're on the cons jury, you get a lot of attention because every, it's big money for your film to win, right? Yeah. So you're gonna get a lot of attention. Well, yeah. The, okay. The artist basically rolled on his palm de I mean, I know people though that have won. I mean, I knew an Asian actress that. Um, okay, we're talking. Did it do Kirsten Dunst any good last year? Mm, no. No, it didn't help her career it. whatsoever. But movies. It can be a god-awful big push for a movie that basically has no budget and no chance whatsoever because I can guarantee oh. you that Americans do not like foreign movies. They really hate it, which is why the emphasis we're doing on the big things around the American film was seem to be getting slighter and slighter with every passing day. Well, because we had talked about it, we originally started out with six American films. You know, I'm, I did, yesterday there were five, and I got this, my news thing this morning says, They've got four, I'm um, saying, we have four American films in competition. There were six, mm. then five. I mean, uh, I think uh, Cosmopolitan, The uh, Moonlight, and um, Paper Boys, and one other, which basically means McConaughey, I think, is, he's either got three out of the four that are left, or two out of the four that are left. Mm. It's just Matthew McConaughey day, folks, because... I know, he has a lot of films that they are said this, they, they said the Cannes Film Festival is actually dealing with the resurrection of Matthew McConaughey. Which means he's no longer going. Which is funny. He's coming to television, as I understand. I know. Isn't that the tricky part? He's in what two or three films at the Cannes Film Festival. That all now? have got nomination for the Palme d'Or, and they're in competition. And uh, and he's coming to television because his movie career is tanked. And what network is it going to be on? And either TBS or TNN. They haven't decided which, but they're both Turner. So he's, and an undetermined television series. I think it all depends. Well, if he wins Best Actor, he ain't coming to TV. If not, he's got a good backup. He's got a backup, so. That's a really good backup. So now the films today that are happening, should we talk about, okay, this is, if you want the premiere spot, which is the opening night film, which is Wes Anderson's Moonrise Kingdom. Which has already been shown. It, it got tepid reviews. They said it wasn't a typical Wes Anderson movie. And oh. they really said the title sequence sucked big time. And, and I understand they said, about 50 minutes into it, the movie died. Really? But what happened to become morbid after the kids got, and after the kids got caught, it, no, it wasn't funny anymore. Oh, but I mean, these are, I mean, this has like Bruce Willis, Edward Norton, Bill Murray, Francis McDormand, Tilda Swinton. It's a big, Jason it's a, Schwartzman. I mean, there's some big names It's in a here. big movie on a, on a small budget, is mm -hmm. what it amounts to. But this is in advance of its May 25th U.S. release. Um, that's a, a broader release. So, see, something like this, if it did well at cons, you get a lot of buzz, you get a lot of people that want to go see it at the movies. Oh, I, I, know, so I know where. The, it was from Wes Anderson, a quote. What? He, they basically, one of, Edward Norton says, he works like this is a troop. Oh. I found it on my side. You did? I found it okay. on my side. That, that's kind of like some other people I know that um, they have it, have it in common. Cause, Oh, Alexander Payne does the same thing. Well, Alexander Payne, like we were talking about, he likes to, he keeps the same film crew around him entirely. Here's the thing, Alexander Payne is a commercial director mm -hmm. that basically became a film producer, director, writer, and he kept his crew with him because, and he tried to surround himself with actors that he's familiar with and worked with because it makes it really simple if you know what everybody's doing. That's what they have. Uh, Edward Norton said about Wes Anderson, he said he surrounded himself with a lot of people he's worked with before, so therefore you have more leeway to do what you 
Uh, I mean, I actually. Well, you, you just know what to expect and what not to expect. You know and how everyone what works. What did it look like? I mean, I was watching last night that uh, they were talking about the Oxbow incident, which is a film, uh, you know, um, and they said the director had worked with most of these actors before. He was confident in so he let the actors sort of move, you know, they basically moved a little bit more towards what he really wanted than what was written because he couldn't put what he wanted in the script. But they knew what, okay, I've done this character a hundred times. This is what this character would do. And it's the same thing they said with Anderson. Anderson knows his characters, so he writes the outline and then, okay, Willis, go. Mm -hmm. Okay, Norton. Go, mm -hmm. and they, they're within that frame, and you're. And it's, it's how you. Okay, I really hate that type of filmmaking. Um, you know what? That, you, that's funny because what we do is all unscripted. It's all unscripted, <laughs> but the problem comes is um, uh, we'll tell you we have a thing from the. Okay, we saw um, Woody Harrelson and his producer and director stuff. He said, "Well, Woody decided to go off on his own the first day, mm -hmm. and we decided the second day that was not how it was going to be." And that's what happens when the actors take charge. So I don't really like it when, okay, the, a, a director means dictator in Italian. Dictorate. So, it's like that Sasha Baron Cohen movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically it was a great dictator, but um, which has almost got awful bad reviews, folks. It was his photo call we were supposed to be on this morning. He rode a camel and almost fell on his ass. Oh, no. But that would have been fun to see the camel well, during the press conference. I know. They said that, that they're making... I, love, I, love the, the, the I, I whole, didn't even know Khan's like, house. circumstance. I didn't know you could bring a camel in. I, I, that was at the, it's at the Khan's house, a zoo. They went to the zoo this morning. To, um, do, they said the whole thing is a zoo, so it's sort of appropriate. Well, my guess is he's not used to riding camels. Not used to what? No, not. But, uh, I mean, how many people are, but, uh, right? But you know, I'm gonna, you know, this is sort of we're gonna bring you every day sort of a different look about what's going on, what the main movie for the day is. And, and the so, and the party was probably for the dictator, right? And the party was for the dictator. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I had an invite to go because you know when you're really up at the press corps, you get advice to these things. Of course, I am sitting here. I am not sitting in cons, and I am not in the press corps. Which sort of how the heck did I? And and it, and it came from a company that really hates us. It, it, and I can't name the company, but it came from a company that's caused this much unhappiness. So, <laughs> so until until tomorrow, this is okay. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. For more information, you can go to www.montybubbles.net on the net or www.mbnnewsvideoweb.com, which is where the hard news actually is going. And it's also where we're doing our daily cons. Yeah. Or con daily. Oh yeah, because the daily con is on MBN News Video Web. The uh, the the what we're going to talk about is the the production notes and stuff for each of these movies we're going to be talking about are MBN uh, well, MontyBubbles.net. It's on MontyBubbles.net, so you can see the production notes over there with uh, with added things. So. Oh yeah. So of course, stay tuned wherever you're watching us. Subscribe to us. Follow our daily newscast in 3D. Oh, and you know what? Else we're doing updates on Facebook. Facebook, Twitter, and Twitter. Yep. Yeah. And uh, and live and and live journal. As if we get things important, we'll basically post it on MBN News Video Web immediately. So. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned and come join us for more. And thank you once again for over 250 million links on the internet.